Okay, um, so I think it's a time to start the uh, special meeting today. Um, probably many of you already know there's a big proposal in China, which is to uh, build up a big 100 TV machine, Heichong Collider, uh, near Beijing. Um, so, uh, uh, today's meeting will begin with uh, um, a short introduction given by uh, Xinjia and then followed by the uh, discussion. Uh, we have um, several panelists and join, and we, we, all, we also hope you uh, join the, um, the discussion too. Okay, so uh, the title of this uh, introduction is uh, Who Needs a 100 TV Collider? The title is actually given by Junwei. <laughs> no, uh, Xinjia. Okay, so anyway, so let's, let's get started. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think, uh, again, I think the purpose is more for, for discussion on uh, what kind of role on the, for uh, Taiwan's uh, high energy fisheries community can play in this such a proposal. So, I hope I don't take too much time in, uh, in this talk, uh, but I may have too many slides, so I will run through some of them very fast. Uh, if we, well, if you don't see it clearly, we can always come back for, for more discussion. So, okay. Now we know that uh, right now we have LHC and uh, finished a very successful <coughs> seven uh, ATV run, and then the most exciting news was the discovery of Higgs boson as the biggest discovery in decades, uh, I think, in energy physics. And uh, but the some of uh, some people may also feel a bit of disappointment that uh, other than the Higgs, we haven't found any uh, new physics beyond the standard model. And uh, the round two with the full energy turned to 14 TeV with uh, 300 inverse pentobarbital star next year. And they will further explore the Higgs properties and uh, also expand the uh, search reach for new physics. Now, but uh, then what, what's after LHC? What's the life after LHC? What are the uh, machines that people are talking about? Uh, I will only talk about the energy frontier machine. One is the high luminosity LHC. That is with the same uh, uh, central mass energy, but uh, you increase the uh, luminosity by tenfold. Uh, this will uh, may not. Uh, anyway, just uh, another well-known example is the ILC, uh, 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 International Linear Collider. I think it's, uh, the Japan is uh, trying to host this machine, and uh, uh, but it requires a significant contribution from from the U.S. I think the, so. It's still not clear uh, what the uh, situation. Uh, I think te technology-wise, it's ready to, uh, to be built if uh, it's approved and with the money available. Then another linear collider was uh, uh, discussed at CERN. It's called CLICK. It's compact linear collider using a new acceleration technology so that you can, we can go to high, even higher energies. But uh, this stuff in development, so it's not. Uh, it's a, a future. Uh, uh, possibility. Now the focus of this uh, talk will be this uh, possibility. That is uh, the new proposal talking about a future circular collider and a bu uh, build a big tunnel, maybe 50 up to 100 kilometers. And the first, you put in the E plus E minus machine into this tunnel and there will do precision uh, study like a Z factory or Higgs factory and so on. Uh, then you put in a hydron collider. Now at the third, it's called FCC EE mode or FCC HH. Now this FCC EE was formerly known as PLEP, with the energy from the Z pole to PT bar threshold. Then FCC uh, hydron collider were up to 100 TV collider. Now China has the, a similar type of combination called CEPC, the circular E plus E minus collider, and STPC is super photon photon collider. And the CPC will only run up to, uh, they, what do they talk about? It's only the Z factory and the 
the increase production at the full voltage region, and that's the PPC with high energy PP collider depends on the size of the tunnel. It may run at 50 or up to 100. So these are the future possibilities, and they has been uh, reported uh, in, a, in many uh, news media. This is from Nature News uh, in, uh, in July, and the different poss possible uh, sites of these uh, future colliders. Now, first, uh, uh, we have a uh, we will have a brief discussion about the physics case cases. Basically, why do we need such uh, uh, new uh, virtual colliders? Now, we know the standard model is completed by the Higgs boson discovery, so that it certainly is not the final story. There are still a lot of questions which are not answered. We, uh, we know we still don't understand dark matter, dark energy barrier symmetry. These are not contained in the standard model, so there must be some new physics. Even with just standard model itself, we don't understand the origin of the electroweak symmetry breaking. The Higgs mass is just a parameter. Uh, which were fitted from data. We don't know why it takes uh, such a value, and uh, in particular, uh, it suffers from the hierarchy problem. Any new physics will destabilize the, uh, at high scale, will destabilize the electric symmetry breaking. So we expect new physics to be uh, near the uh, weak scale. And we are also interested, uh, also, uh, before we discover the Higgs, we know the Higgs left, basically. Now we know the Higgs mass, just the quadratic term on Higgs. We, would, uh, we are also interested in knowing the whole structure of Higgs potential, knowing our vacuum structure, the phase transition, whether our vacuum is stable or just metastable, whether our universe will decay in the future. Also, a lot of parameters in the standard model are in the flavor and the CP se sectors. Uh, they are not explained uh, anyway. So uh, hopefully they can, there are some new theory which can explain them. So, for example, this is the snow mass study, uh, a new physics group report. They talk about the big questions that uh, need to be addressed here, and then the possible uh, big ideas which may relate to these big questions. So to probe a uh, new physics at high scale, so you, uh, we have these two types of colliders, lepton colliders and the hadron colliders. The uh, lepton colliders are used, uh, useful in precision uh, study, that is the precision test of the standard model. If we have a Z factory or a Higgs factory, we can measure their coupling to be, uh, very precisely. And uh, they are sensitive to the higher dimensional operators suppressed by high, high scale. On the other hand, if we have a high energy hydron collider, we can go directly to high energy and uh, directly produce these new uh, possible new states. Uh, and uh, probe the new physics directly. And also, because of this also, it ha when you go to high energy, you get a very large grid for, for massive particles like W, uh, Z, and the top, and so on, so that uh, they can be, these uh, particles can also be studied uh, very precisely. These are the, <coughs> for example, uh, for, uh, for a future E plus E minus slider, people have studied that uh, the, uh, how we can improve the precision at the Z factory. This is the ST plus, and the current bound is in this ellipse. With a future machine, we can shrink the ellipse, uh, the size of the ellipse by one to two other magnitude. And if we have Higgs factory, it can also measure the, the coupling to a much more precise level. For example, this uh, red one is uh, from the T-lab, and uh, compare with the uh, even the high luminosity LHC, it can do better. Oh, by the way, all the slides from which Henry written one uh, by in fact by Nima uh, in a, as a recent talk. And uh, for uh, if we have a hundred TV TV collider, it will give us huge lifting energy. It will have huge rate uh, to do study and. Uh, at this energy, the whole standard model looks like massive, even for, for top or Higgs, or Z, W, and so these massive particles. And uh, this is some illustrative reach for new physics. 
if we have color pair, the reach for 100 dim character can go up to about 10, 10 TeV. And for electroweak pair, there's also a couple TeV. For W, Z, w prime, Z prime can go up to even 30 TeV. And these two type of machines are also for Higgs coupling, they, they play a very complementary role. Uh, basically for, for the E plus C e minus machine, you can measure these uh, uh, tests that uh, uh, measure the Higgs branching fraction and in invisible decay weights very precisely. And uh, they are sensitive to this type of operator. On the other hand, the, self, the Higgs self coupling, uh, the E plus C e minus machine cannot do very well on this. Side, the 100 TeV machine will be very useful in testing the, uh, in the self coupling. On the other hand, also, this uh, operator affects the, the Z coupling, so the, the Z factory will be useful in testing this operator. It can test all these higher dimensional operators with, with the scale up to multi TeV. Uh, so, for earlier, we say that uh, there are these big big questions uh, to, be, uh, to, to be addressed uh, with the 100 TV machine. The three biggest questions that we can prove are these uh, ones, uh, including the vacuum potential, uh, the vacuum structural dark matter, and the naturalness. Let's just very quickly say that first the, uh, the vacuum potential part. Right now, uh, earlier today, we, kn we know the Higgs field. Now with the Higgs boson discovery, we also know the quadratic uh, federation around the Higgs potential. We know it's mass, but we don't know that it's full structure. It's like this, or the green one, or red one, and so on. Now, LHC will have no chance uh, settling this question at all. This question is interesting. Uh, because not only because we want to know the full structure, whether the vacuum is stable or not. It may also relate to the idea of barrier genesis. We know that to uh, our universe, we, have, we need this barrier and asymmetry to, so that we, we can exist. We have more matter than antimatter. But how does uh, we get this asymmetry? It's not clear. There are one idea is uh, coming from this, maybe the barrier genesis this occurs uh, at the electroweak phase transition. Now, if you want this, uh, this requires first order electroweak phase transition. But uh, in standard model with Higgs uh, mass at 125 TeV, the, the, if you, there's no new physics, just standard model. Then, the, uh, in fact, the phase transition will be second order. So this, this idea will not work. On the other hand, if you have new physics which modify the Higgs potential, it's possible to make the 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 uh, phase transition first order. However, with such a big change, that means the new phase must be very close nearby. It must have a significant modification on the Higgs potential, and uh, such a scenario can be completely ruled out by the combination of CET, uh, CETC plus STPC by this uh, lepton plus the hadron collider. Now, second question that uh, such a machine can answer is lower general nat and naturalness of the electroweak scale. A standard model is called a model because it's really just a model, not a theory. Because uh, it's not uh, the Higgs uh, potential, the Higgs mass parameter is basically put in by hand, then fitted by the data. Right? There's no explanation why the Higgs mass takes such a value. This is reflected by if you calculate the radial correction to the Higgs. Uh, mass square, you get this quadratic divergence, which needs to be, be renormalized. And uh, we, so that we, we don't know. Uh, basically, it can only be treated as a parameter in this theory. Now, basically, in all the, so far, we have uh, in physics, based on the reduction paradigm, is that uh, we have some underlying theory, then we can calculate. Uh, the consequence. So we imagine that uh, there is an underlying Higgs theory where the Higgs mass can be calculated. Underlying uh, uh, theory occur at the scale lambda h. Then because of when you do the calculation, you find that uh, the Higgs mass uh, will receive a contribution which proportional to this uh, lambda h squared. Therefore, if you want uh, the Higgs mass squared to be natural, 
it is the new scale should, uh, where there's a Higgs theory, uh, theory for the underlying Higgs uh, is going to be, well, should be very close to the Higgs mass. This will provide a complete understanding of this uh, uh, following our usual paradigm. On the other hand, if this, this scale is much higher than the Higgs boson mass, then this is uh, some very strange thing. We will require extreme correlation between UV and IR. So by a future such a machine will at least tell us which one uh, of, of these two possibilities. Okay. Yeah. What is going on by all known examples? Hmm? Okay. So the bottom blank square. Hmm. The two lines on the bottom. Yes. Born out by all known examples. So you have to be more precise. What is my name? Yes. Well, it, uh, you must give us some examples, mm -hmm. like a condensed matrix is tuned to the phase transition, but I skip them because I don't want to do spend too much time on, on my my talk. I want to leave time for the Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, that's, that's big. That. yeah, that's big. So here was a claim that uh, it's a win-win-win situation. Either way, it's a very interesting. Uh, maybe not everybody agrees, but uh, this is uh, his point of view. He basically, if you find a new physics uh, which expand the Higgs mass, it will be spectacular. Even if you don't find it, it's, it's also very uh, important to know because uh, it's uh, something we haven't seen before and uh, it may, may change our view of the, uh, the physics. Uh, I think in the example he would like to, to use it was like uh, the, the multiverse idea and so on. So, so this is uh, the argument for, for the, and the, the reason why is that we can test natural to very high scale is that you see the coverage. For example, if you have supersymmetry as the explanation, the stuff and green or rich at such a, at a TV, 100 TV machine will be very high. The stuff will go up to closer to 10 TV. The green or will go above 10 TV. Uh, so it w this means the lambda is really much higher than the Higgs mass in this case. And similar for the top partner, and so on. Also, the best case would be RHC14 just discover some new, new particles, like we know it will be most exciting case. But uh, even in that case, uh, it's unlikely that uh, RHC can discover the whole spectrum. Suppose we find super, super, some super partner probably just some of the super problem. In that case, we are, have even stronger motivation to go to high energy to find the whole spectrum. I remember hearing from you personally that partners lose meaning about two TV videos. <laughs> what, what does it mean? Like that? Oh, you agree, right? <laughs> In fact, uh, one can ask if the RHC doesn't find any new physics, does that mean uh, it, uh, the model must be a natural? In fact, it's not. There are, in the market, there are models which are natural but they predict nothing at the RHC, like so called twin Higgs model or some invisible top partner. In this case, these so called top these partners which cancel the quadratic divergence do not carry standard model charge so that you don't see them. Uh, but even those models cannot escape uh, the future colliders. You can use the precision test and also the, the scale for the, these type also based on some nonlinear sigma model with the cutoff scale. We are within the reach of the 100 TV colliders. Now, for dark matter, there are, there are different Poss uh, possibilities, but the most popular scenario is still the wind, and uh, it's uh, uh, the only ca calculable models of dark matter that we have. The others are maybe just uh, assume some new particle with the appropriate uh, mass to, to be there. 
Now, wings could, uh, the typical wings can be from 10 GB up to a few GB. Now, if it has a higher uh, range, like a few GB, then it, it will, they, those wings won't be accessible at the RHC. Especially, we haven't found anything at the RHC. Uh, well. So then, at the uh, future 100 GB collider, we will have much better reach for different scenarios. This is the worst case uh, scenario. That is, suppose there's just dark matter and nothing else. Uh, but which dark matter, dark matter couples to the same amount. Uh, you, you, it doesn't have any uh, other particle associated with the, then you, in this case, the signal is based on mono jet. Basically, you produce dark matter and uh, escape the detector. Then you have initial state radiation if you uh, run jet. Now, this will be the improvement of the reach from 14 TV to 100 TV for different type of uh, scenarios. We know this uh, Hexino and uh, some mix, uh, mixed uh, coordination case and so on. It will go well uh, into a multi TV region. Now, if you, there are also other particles associated with, uh, with uh, dark matter particles, like a super symmetric scenario, then things can even be better. You produce these new particles, then they, they cascade, decay down to the dark matter. You get the jets or leptons plus missing energy. Then the reach who can go up uh, to uh, like a 3 TV or even higher. Uh, so. oh, sorry. Yeah. So, this is the argument that uh, these three pil pillars, uh, uh, we have no loose uh, uh, case for either both phase transition and naturalness. It will basically give, definitely give you uh, some answer whether, uh, for example, the first order phase transition will happen or not, or whether the theory is natural or not. For dark matter, it will still rule out the at least simple possibility. So these are the basic motivation for, for such new uh, future uh, colliders. Now, uh, <coughs> one can ask what if, uh, just, uh, if I'm just interested in standard model, do I uh, need such a machine? Now, uh, I won't say too much, but uh, Matthew throughout that uh, talk at uh, Black Hunt TV Collider argued that even for just standard model only, we want the 500 TV uh, Kaiser machine because there are many interesting effects uh, which can be studied with just uh, with such a machine. And uh, if you are interested, just uh, look at the, his talk. So now, uh, uh, just to have a very brief uh, uh, coverage about the basic case. Let, let me just uh, uh, mention the, the Chinese proposal here. Now the idea of building an E plus E minus machine as a Higgs factory occurs just uh, maybe just to start from right before the Higgs discovery. And then I think uh, after the Higgs discovery, then there's the idea which include uh, a second phase that's uh, a, a large uh, PP collider in the same tunnel. And this I think got the director of the IHEP uh, Wang Yifang uh, excited. So then they uh, start to consider this combination seriously, starting about since uh, last year. Uh, this is from uh, Yifang Wang's staff, uh, uh, Yifang Wang's talk at uh, the kickoff meeting, and uh, he would argue that uh, this, such a machine is, uh, uh, fits their strategic needs, and uh, in terms of science, timing, technology, Ability manpower because the best uh, two will finish at 2020 and also economic scale. And uh, then it will be uh, very, it's a very good chance for China to push such a project, basically. Now, there are some preliminary uh, candidate site already selected at the Qingfang Dao. You know, it's a 300 kilometer from Beijing near the ocean. And uh, they, well, they argue you know, it's, uh, it's uh, some uh, basically close to Beidai, uh, the, their meeting place, uh, the 
the air quality must be good or something. <laughs> Now this is some dream, the timeline, the, that's what they are thinking. Uh, hope uh, they get some funding to do series R and this study uh, next year and uh, hopefully finish in like five, six years and start construction uh, after 2020. Then uh, maybe start data taking at 2028 for the C plus C minus machine. For the proton proton machine takes a longer time to study because in China doesn't have the experience uh, doing TP machine. They have some experience with E plus minus machine. So it will uh, basically the earliest possible date for data will be 2042. Uh, it's, uh, it's a long time from now. I would have retired long before that. But uh, for young people, that's your future. Okay. Okay, this is organization. Basically, right now, other project is they divided uh, into three working group actuator theory and the de uh, detectors and, and so on. And uh, for, to find out more, you can go to their website. And then they have regular meetings and uh, so on to discuss these things. Now, right now, they are working on some pre CDR, which will, uh, they want to finish by the end of this year do some initial uh, study and uh, some estimate. And then the three, uh, three group uh, in the procedure are in uh, divided into theory, actuator, and detector. Uh, these are the, peop the people in charge of Hongxi and Su Shouhua and the NIMA uh, doing theory and the actuator is so with them. And then Gao Yuan Ning for detector. Okay, so in associate with, uh, with uh, such an effort, now I have uh, established uh, a Center for Future High Energy Physics to facilitate uh, the collaboration. Now in the beginning phase, it's uh, more focused on theory part. So in fact, Nima Hani uh, Haman is the first director of the, the center, and uh, the deputy director is uh, Lu Taizian, who is in charge of day-to-day uh, business because he is local. And uh, also the, the program and the visitor program also help run by Han Tao, Wang Lian Tao, and uh, Su Shu Fang. Uh, okay. Now, uh, Nima's appointment will be two years. His, uh, his idea, basically, he, his goal is to in running the center is to remove the word future <laughs> for the center. He wants to turn it into a center for energy physics. That's say that he, he said that's his goal in this his two years term. Now, so it uh, this is the inauguration meeting uh, December uh, last year. I think we was there too, and we uh, open here and uh, then. And there are two websites about the center. You can go there and uh, take a look. Yeah, this is the official website. This is the wiki page. Now, uh, right now it's running a vigorous uh, visitor program starting uh, March this year. Already there are uh, more than 50, uh, 50 visitors uh, staying for a couple of weeks to a uh, month or so on. And then there are more people uh, going there. And the typical activity at the centers are including lectures, seminars, and also visits to other institutions. You probably cannot see very clearly. You know, see, uh, visitors are often uh, asked to give some lectures to the students or seminars. And then also sometimes go, they go to visit other, like, other universities, like Beijing University, Tsinghua University, to discuss with local people. Now, if you are interested in visiting uh, the center, you can uh, you can just send a uh, an email with a specific date. You are invited, basically. <coughs> That's the father the told us. Okay. You have to pay. Hmm? Have oh, to pay. Uh, let's say the rules basically 
is that uh, if you are long term, I think uh, uh, for long term visitor, if you visit for four weeks.